let's first jump into love for Leo. Major transformation happening in love, Leo. You've got the death card. Could also be a Scorpio who's coming through. Um, could be major endings or someone from the past coming back in around you, okay? Or past, the past gets brought back up in a relationship. You might revisit the past. Um, someone might become more sensitive about the past. Um, or you're thinking about the past somehow, Leo. Um, you might be wondering if behavior is going to repeat itself. I think a part of you wants to move forward. You can see the Six of Wands. She's in her boat, ready to move forward. Look, I think a part of you wants to move forward and look to the future, but the past keeps coming back in around you somehow. Um, perhaps not for all of you. Um, the Death card can signify a transformation. Um, it can signify the ending of something. So I feel like there could be relationship endings happening for some. For others, I feel like it could definitely display um, some sort of transformation that's taking place in an existing relationship. But it's almost like she's looking up to the angel here in her boat. I think a part of you is just going to submit. It's almost like you're going to surrender and say, whatever will be, will be. Um, you're in your boat here, Leo. So I obviously see that you want to be protected. I do see some some of you might be or might feel a little bit hurt. And I say that because the Page of Wands has been sort of tied up into this, um, you know, this light, this flame, this rope. And you can see his body here that's sort of, let me zoom into that, that's sort of um, tied up here. So um, I feel like some of you are tied, you're, you're, it's almost like you're caught up in something. I don't know if you're caught up in the past, you're caught up in something that someone did to you in the past. You know, you need you sort of want to make that movement um, and you, you want to look to the future. You want to be optimistic and you do have that openness here. Um, and I think you're going to have to talk about it. You're going to have to talk about releasing that because the Queen of Swords is, is here. Now, this bird has this rope around his beak, whether she put it there or she's releasing the rope. Um, either way, it's symbolic of voice or words or communication so some of you might have a hard time keeping your mouth shut <laughs> you might have um you might feel like you need to really express and vocalize yourself or there can come a situation where you feel like you want to be silent now you and me both know leo there's a lot going on in, in the subconscious okay the death card can be the subconscious mind as well the things that we keep hidden from view scorpio energy and um there's a lot you want to say, but you're scared it's going to cause this Page of Wands energy. I think with the Five of Swords can show disruption in communication as well. Um, I think this needs to happen, to be honest. I do. Uh, I feel like if you want to move forward and move past whatever it is that's happening, I feel like you're going to need to talk about it. Or forever hold your peace. You know, I hate saying that because I really encourage you to, especially in relationships, Leo, it's important you vocalize things. I mean, is this repetitive behavior? There's not really, I mean, apart from the world car, the wreath in the world, there's nothing really cyclical here. So I don't know if you have to finally put something in the past and lay it to rest and no longer talk about it. I don't know if that's going to sit well with you, Leo. I don't know if you're ready for that, but there could be some confusion coming up um, with that five of swords here. But I do feel like there's a situation about the bird. It's almost like suppressing a message, even hiding a message. Some of you might be hiding things or you might find someone around you is hiding things from you. Um, you know, that's not to say Scorpio energy, Scorpios hide everything, but they can be mysterious and enigmatic. Um, and the fact that the beak is, is shut here. It's almost like someone's been told to be quiet or not say anything. So, I mean, there could be some secret behavior happening here and it could it could hurt. It could sting. And it may come out. It may not. You might be the one that has caused this. It might be someone else. Uh, but that sort of energy could be coming up around you. And then you have to, I mean, if it does, you'll have you'll you'll have a decision to make, Leo. I think I think it's you. Uh, or if you're waiting for something, I think you'll be waiting for someone to come back around or someone to finally stop bringing the past up towards you. I mean, that could also be the case here as well. Let's move on to your career and finance or, or money, creative pursuits, and see what's coming up 
uh, in those areas, uh, Leo. Okay, career so far is looking pretty good. Okay, very nice here, Leo. Um, look, you do have the devil, okay, Capricorn, the sun can be Aries. Um, there is a powerful union that's taking place here um, with the four of wands. And I do feel if there's any job interviews, collaborations, I think this could fall in your favor. I would just um, advise you to be careful here, Leo, because the devil can be a little bit ambiguous, okay? So um, you need detail and you need understanding. Sometimes the devil can lead us into many different paths. So um, exercise caution, I think anything to do with money or putting down... Um, uh, uh, putting money forward or investments or anything of this nature here. Um, you might be dealing with an Aries or a Cappy, maybe sometime in, in, in regards to your career. Um, and this person could be around you for a long time coming. It's just a, a notion of warning. I feel like with the devil, it's more like the shadows and, and things that might scare you a little bit. So if you're in doubt, don't. If there's something that you're not comfortable with pursuing, um, express yourself. You know, you've got the sun here, which means illumination. And the sun came up here for you as well. So uh, in the lover's card. So I think... Um, there's a lot of uh, spotlight or, or things that are being shined on you. Again, the sun and the world are very closely uh, aligned here as well, which I think is a potent symbol of, of, of what's ahead. But I think with the sun card here, um, you need that sun to illuminate your path here. So there might be some confusion or you might be going se uh, down several different paths or if you're taking a few leads, those leads might not le um, might not get you to where you want Um like false leads, false hopes, some of that could be coming up sometimes because the devil can be a trickster. Um, but there could be a celebration or event or something that will be celebrated in some way um, in your business or career. A powerful partnership, one that's destined, is coming up around you as well. And you've got the king of chalices. So there's a lot of um, something you're going to be very happy about. Um, there's happiness coming in here. can also be a lot more passion uh, coming into the job here as well. You've got the Reverie card here as well, um, and this can um, really, uh, I don't think it's more confusion, I think it's more being in a fantasy-like state or um, imagining things, uh, or being entranced in something here. Something's going to make you feel good or ecstatic, or you're sort of going to be um, carried off with these thoughts. Something's going to carry you away here with these thoughts. could be the prospect of a new job. Um, it might be that if you're writing something, you're so immersed and you're sort of carried away to another world. Um, there's a question mark here. So again, I'm questioning the, 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 the logic of things, questioning the direction, questioning um, your ways of thinking. But it, it can be a bit of daydream. It can definitely be a bit of daydreaming happening here. Um, or there's a scenario that you're sort of fretting. Um, but I feel like steps will align. You have the eight, eight of wands. So I do feel like things will align in your favor, which is quite beautiful. And I think that sun will come out and, and, and um, really put you in the right direction or put you where it is that you need to be. But the sun is the self. So I don't know if this is you questioning your talents or daydreaming about the talents you'd like to have or the, 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 the avenues you'd like to go down. The sun can definitely be the self, the inner child, a childhood dream, nursing that back to life, maybe Leo, um, taking the practical steps. Um, but it's almost like you're going to be whisked away with something here in your job. It could be whisked away, like literally you might have a, a trip, or it happens in the distant future, it could. Um, but there's some of that, I think, around you as well. So um, preparations for that, possibly. Or if you're needing some inspiration, inspiration can take you far and wide, and those plans may just be implemented regarding your business, your workplace, your role, um, inspiration for your creative pursuits. Uh, but just be mindful. I mean, you do have two angels and the devil, but um, just be mindful of that. Um, because it's, you know, it's dark here and it's shadowy. Um, 
So it can get you too much fantasizing and daydreaming can get you in a bit of an a bit of an idle period in your career. So it's important, you know, it's important to yes, um, find inspiration and fantasize and daydream and write your ideas down, but make sure it's not in excess. The devil can be excessive behavior or overindulgent. Um, and this could be with money and finances. Uh, it could even be risk taking behavior because that energy is so strong around you, Leo. Um, be patient. Let it come to you. Okay. I will leave your reading at that. So thank you again so much for tuning 